Marriage is named differently in different cultures and at different places. It is called wedding, shadi, vya or nikah. This ceremony in Sikhism is called Anand Karaj. Marriage and the family changes from place to place, religion to religion, caste to caste, tribe to tribe and moreover from time to time. The institution of marriage is the oldest and natural institution. During the last few thousand years of our cultural history, marriage and extended family has been the basis of our social structure. Marriage teaches us compassion, shared connection, emotional security, increases longevity and gives us happiness economic stability and good long life. The traditional uh, wedding ceremony starts with Anand Karaj. The word Anand means ultimate bliss and Karaj means action or activity. Anand Karaj can take between two to three hours depending if the families want to extend prayers or rituals. Overwhelming. Overwhelming. That's all I can say. Abhi dheere dheere seat pe nuaga. Sab chik ho jaye. Bas uski dua chahiye. Families may also include a legal civil ceremony at the same time in front of their friends, family and guests as witnesses to the wedding. Anand Karaj ceremony should be taken with strictest respect.
after bowing down to the holy shri guru granth sahib ji the bride will sit down on the left hand side of her groom the musicians sing the god's hymns as all these activities are taking place anand karaj ceremony is generally a very quiet affair no guests talk while the priest or musicians are performing once the couple have sat down cross legged in front of the shri guru granth sahib ji so the priest or the musicians jinko ragis bhi kehte hain will ask the couple and their respected parents uh, only to stand up in a prayer asking permission from the almighty to commence this important ceremony of anand karaj then the bride's father is requested to give his daughter away to the groom he would physically tie the knot or hand the trailing scarf from the groom's shoulder to his daughter signifying that from now on she is joining with her husband for life following the father's blessings the musicians will sing the praises to the lord and in taking the four marriage vows the couple would have to sit in front of shri guru granth sahib ji amidst the congregation usually in a gurdwara however this marriage sometimes could also take place in the house or another place where shri guru granth sahib ji could be taken from the gurdwara with the appropriate respect shri guru granth sahib ji is the only witness needed in a sikh marriage the priest male or female then reads the first vow from the shri guru granth sahib ji once he or she has completed reading the couple are asked to bow down and stand up the musicians then recite and sing the first lav accompanied by the music the bridegroom is asked to lead the way and walk around the shri guru granth sahib ji clockwise followed by his bride the bride's brother uh, or uncle or father who are standing around the holy book in a circle escort her from one to the another while the couple are walking this encirclement usually finishes simultaneously with the musicians completing their singing of the lavan and the couple then bow and sit down again in their respective places the four lavan and rotation is basically the four promises in last everybody stands up and the granthi reads the concluding prayer
गुरु सर सस क्या गुण तेरे सार संभाले मोहे निर्गुण के दाता रे What virtues and excellences of yours should I cherish and contemplate? Why, Guru, I am worthless, and you are the great giver. Bar khareed kya kare chaturai, eh o jio pind sab thare. I am your slave. What clever tricks could I ever try? The soul and body are totally yours. लाल रंगीले प्रीतम मनमोहन तेरे दर्शन को हम बारे रहा सो दिस इज द लाइन दैट इज द जस्ट ऑफ द शब्द द मेन पॉइंट वे आर गुरु साहब सेइंग ओ माय बिलवेड हु फैसिनेट्स माय माइंड आई एम सैक्रिफाइस टू हैव a vision of you to have your darshan prab data mohedin pekari tum sada sada upkari o oh god you are the great giver and i'm just a poor beggar you are forever and ever benevolent couple is then declared husband and wife at the end of this lavan ceremony Alright guys, on my count, 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah.